So we're going to draw a tree diagram to solve this problem. First off, you have first stage, which is picking the urn. And you're going to burn A and urn B. Again, I like to separate my stage stages horizontally. And here's the first stage, which is pick urn. And then after that, we have stage two, which is pick ball. From urn A and urn B, well, from urn A, you can pick a red and a green. Again, make sure you don't make the mistake of making a third red. That's not correct. Because the branches represent possi possibility of outcomes. So representing a red twice wouldn't, wouldn't give you any additional information. So for B, the same thing. You would just have red and green here. So, and I like to assign probability at the very end after I make the entire tree. Uh, you can assign probability as you go, but that's just, it's just my preference. So do whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, so here, uh, now I've finished this tree, I'm gonna start assigning probabilities. Well, you randomly select an urn, so there's a one half chance. You select each, the, each of the urn. And there are two red in urn A, so two third to pick red and one third to pick green. And from urn B, you have one half chance to pick red and one half chance to pick green, since there's three of each. And now we have our sample space, which you have urn A red, urn A green, urn B red, and urn B green. So we are only concerned about the probability of green, which is, oh, this is supposed to be green. So it's this one and this one. And to find the probability of each outcome, we just multiply across. So here we have one half times one third for urn A and green, which is one six. And then here we have one half times one half, which is one fourth for urn B and green. So the total probability of green is the probability of urn A and green plus the probability of urn B and green. And here we add the two because this is a multi-scenario where A green, A green will work or B green will work. So this is uh, A green or B green, so we add the probabilities. So, and so we have one six plus one fourth. And we find the common denominator, which is 12. So here we have 212 plus 312, which is 512. And that's our final answer.